welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of mastering your communication skills. Communication is one of the single most important factors in maintaining any relationship. Yet so many relationships fail due to one simple factor. They fail to communicate effectively and articulate their standards and needs. Communication, whether it be with your boss, friends, or partner, is an essential component in building any great relationship. So often we are left feeling unheard, frustrated, or angry at someone because we fail to express what we need or what we require from that particular person and situation. These situations can be easily avoided by putting our ego aside and simply communicating our needs in a heartfelt way. Some of the world's greatest trailblazers all mastered communication, whether it be to articulate their goals or vision or convince someone of how their ideas or products could add value to the lives of others. Communication doesn't just stop at relationships, it is also a key factor on how successful you will be. Communicating your vision or goal in a clear, concise, and heartfelt manner is essential for creating any successful business or brands. The more you are able to master communication, the more you will not only see your business flourish, but your personal relationships as well. As Shannon Adler quotes, when you give yourself permission to communicate what matters to you in every situation, you will have peace despite rejection or disapproval. Putting a voice to your soul helps you let go of negative energy, of fear and regret. Stay tuned, coming up after the break, yeah, I want to talk about your big break at the CW's All American. Let's talk about your character, Vanessa. And for our viewers that don't know, talk to us a little bit about her experiences on the show. Yes, Vanessa Montes, um, she's very confident. Um, she's very outgoing. She says what she wants and what she thinks. So she's very out there, which I love because she's a young Latina. Um, so I get to represent that on the show, which I love. Um, Vanessa met one of the characters back in the summer and they had like a little connection. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Alondra Delgado, who is an actress and writer best known for her role as Vanessa Montez in the American sports drama series, All American on the CW Network. Alondra, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you guys for having me. Thanks for being here. It's, it's very exciting. Take us back to your acting journey and when you realized that acting was something you wanted to pursue as a long-term career. Well, I think my first movie I did was when I was seven years old. So growing up, I always, like every single year, I would do like a movie or a commercial. So it was very normal for me. It was what I've been doing since I was little. And um, when I got into high school that everyone was trying to decide what they wanted to do. And I was like, I've been doing this for my whole life. And like, I cannot picture myself doing anything else. So that's when I decided that I wanted to leave Puerto Rico and go to LA to go after my dreams. <laughs> That's amazing. And you know, what kind of steps did you take to take your career to the next level? Because obviously it's not easy to get a big break. A lot of people do auditions and that kind of stuff. So, you know, what were some pros and cons when first getting into the industry? Well, when I moved out here, it was very difficult because when I moved, I already had done so many things in Puerto Rico. But over here, they didn't have enough like credits or like they weren't as important because they weren't here. So I kind of had to start from zero. And it was difficult because I had been doing it since I was seven. So it was like, oh, why do I have to start from zero if, if I've done so much? So mm -hmm. it was something that I had to like get used to and accept and then work even harder for it. So I came out here to do my bachelor's in acting for film. And as I was acting, I mean, doing my bachelor's, I would have a part-time and I would still go to auditions. And there was a lot of rejection at the beginning, obviously. And after three years, I got my first role as a co-star on a TV show called Maya. Mm -hmm. So it's been a lot of no's and rejections. So yeah, it's not easy, but it's possible. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. I love that you addressed that you had a lot of no's as well along the way because, you know, a lot of people see people's success in the end results, but they don't know their journey to get to where they are. Yeah. So I love that you uh, addressed that. And you also said you had a part time job, so it's possible. You can also, you know, have a job as well as pursue your goals. So I love that you you talked about that. Yeah. I want to talk about your big break at the CW's All American. Let's talk about your character, Vanessa. And for our viewers that don't know, talk to 
us a little bit about her experiences on the show. Yes, Vanessa Montes, um, she's very confident. Um, she's very outgoing. She says what she wants and what she thinks. So she's very out there, which I love because she's a young Latina. Um, so I get to represent that on the show, which I love. Um, Vanessa met one of the characters back in the summer and they had like a little connection, but that was it. And she thought she was never going to see him again. And now she's transferring to a different high school. We all know that it's difficult when you're a teenager and you're changing schools. You want people to love you and like you. So she's coming out here wanting to make friends, but she realizes that this guy she met in the summer is in this high school and he has the girlfriend. So it creates a love triangle and a lot of drama that she doesn't want, but unfortunately it comes with her and um, it gets in the middle of her just sitting in and making friends. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite part about playing this character, Vanessa? Do you see any similarities in your own personality? Um, well, I do. I can relate that she's confident herself, and that's something that I think I've worked over the years to accomplish. Um, I do think she's a lot more outgoing and like outside her box, and I think that's something that I still struggle a bit. I'm a little bit shy sometimes when it comes to like saying what I really think or feel. Um, but she doesn't, and that's something that I like about her, and it kind of inspires me because you have to do that, you know? You have to, like, care about yourself and just say what, what you really feel, and that's something that she does, and I, um, I look up to her for that. Mm -hmm. And this isn't just your only big role. I know you were also in Mayans, uh, MC, and Vita, so talk to us about those experiences as well. Yes, yeah, so Mayans, as I said, was my first co-star role that I got. Um, and it's it's been a great experience. I've been there for all the three seasons and now in season three they made me a guest star So it was a bigger role um, It's been great. It's a lot of Hispanics in the show so I can relate to many of them um, And then Vida as well. It's a great show I did a co-star there and most of the crew members are women and that inspired me a lot when I got there to the set It was like wow, this is amazing so I feel very lucky that I got to participate in both of them shows and it has helped me a lot to get every single other job after that. Mm -hmm. And you touched base a little bit about being Puerto Rican, you know, what do you think, that, how, how has that kind of influenced um, who you are today, your, your roots, your Hispanic roots? Yeah, I think, I think it brings a lot of passion to, to what I'm doing and at the same time it's like I come from a little tiny island so it's been a struggle to get to where I am. So I think all of that I bring together and like I fight harder for what I want. And I I think with each and every character, I just put that in it. So it helps a lot and it's it's who I am, you know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I actually love Puerto Rico. I went to San Juan, which is a beautiful, beautiful nice. place. So I can totally see and you, you touch base on passion. You know, Hispanic people yeah. are passionate. I love that. Yes. <laughs> so it definitely you know, makes you who you are. So what's interesting about you is you're a writer, producer, and you produced your own short film called Bygone that actually won you an award. Um, you won the Best Actress Honors at the Austin Micro Short Film Festival. So I know where you wore different hats in this film and of course winning this award must have been so rewarding. So talk Talk to us about that whole experience. It was. Um, My Gun was the first short film that I wrote. Um, I had this, this idea of like waking up with blood on my hands and I wanted to create like a strong female lead character that is not like cute and has her life put together. I wanted her to be raw and like have a lot of problems going on. So I wrote this character and I was like, okay, let me submit it to different festivals and see. So I didn't expect to receive such good feedback. And then when I saw that I was nominated to Best Actors, I was like, oh my God, but I never thought I was going to win, you know? And when I, I read the email, I'm like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. But it's, I think it's, it's great that I love to write because like I can see filmmaking from different points of views and it helps me then when I'm acting, you know? You create the story and then you see it brought up to life when someone is acting it. So it brings a different meaning to it and you appreciate the art of filmmaking a lot more because you see the process that it takes to see an actual film put up in TV or in the movies. Yeah, 
I can totally relate to that as well because for me as well, I'm a host, but I'm also a writer, producer. I, I've worn multiple hats in this industry, so I can appreciate TV and this industry from all perspectives, yeah. you know? So I, I, I like that you said that. Was it difficult for you writing, producing, and acting? Because that's, you know, acting is hard enough and then writing, producing as well. <laughs> like, was that difficult yeah. at all? It, it was. It was a little bit uh, stressful, too. The day off that we were filming, everyone was like, okay, you just have to relax and just act. Just do. And I'm like, okay, but I have to do this. I have to do that. And everyone's like, no, Alondra, right now you're the actress. So it was a little bit stressful, obviously, doing everything. And I'm a Virgo, so I'm very perfectionist. Um, but at the end, it was very rewarding to see everything come together. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was and you won that award too so that must have been very motivating <laughs> and an amazing <laughs> experience. You know I want to talk about you've been very successful in your career and I'm sure there are, we have a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of millennials and Gen X's that watch this show so let's talk about you know what what advice do you have for other people that want to get into the entertainment industry acting and you know are facing rejection and finding it hard to become successful and get that big break what advice would you have for them for that maybe people of that feel like they want to give up because they're getting no's at auditions yeah i think i always say it like if you, if you do have a passion to just go for it yes it's not going to be easy you are going to face a lot of rejection and hear a lot of no's but you have to be very true to yourself and you really have to believe in your talent and what you can do so you have to create like a safe environment for your mental state and like just try to like say to yourself like you are good and you can do this because like if you don't believe in you no one else is going to so i would say to just work hard and just believe in yourself and like remember that it's not like in your timings it's like in the world's timing so like Whatever is going to happen, it is going to happen. You just have to trust the process, work hard, and not pretend that, like, Steven Spielberg is going to knock on your door and be like, hey, this is for you. So you really do have to work for it and um, just journal. Just journal every day and write what you want. But, like, just keep very strong on believing in your talent and yourself. And, like, it is possible. Mm -hmm. I love that. I think that's so important is believing in yourself because I remember when I first got into the industry and I worked at a news station and you know, I wasn't getting to the next level and every single time I meet my st station manager, he'd always say, you have to believe in yourself if you want to take it to yeah. the next level. And as soon as I did, then things started to work out for me. So I, I think that's really great advice yeah. to really believe in yourself. Let's talk about your upcoming projects. What are you working on? Uh, right now there's a movie that is in post-production. It's called Safe House. Um, and I'm the lead role in that movie and it's an action film. So I'm very excited for everyone to see that because um, I get to run, do my own stuff, stunts, be dirty, be with blood. So it's a very different character to what people have seen before. Oh, sounds very intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> you made me very curious. I'm definitely going to check it out. But thank you so much, Alondra, <laughs> for being on the show today. It's been a pleasure. You're obviously an inspiration and keep up the amazing work. And we hope to have you back on the show when you have your movie out. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And thank you for having me. Thank you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.